Hey guys, it's a new year, and what I want to go over with you today is this is something simple that I learned. A lot of people just think a brake is made for bending a 90, a 45, whatnot. So what I did here, if you can see it, I measured two inches off this end. This will be for roughly a one inch radius. So every eighth of an inch on a tape measure, you put a, a mark, a dot, whatever you want to do. Do it on both sides. Then what you do, you go over to the break and say, I want, I'm want. i gonna start on this side. Say this is my straight cut, I'm gonna have to cut this side. You put it all the way into the break on the very last line and you start bumping it. So if your brake has a degree wheel on it, you can bump it. I think I usually start around like, I think it's like eight to 10 degrees and I just hit each line. So 10 degrees, release the brake, move this, go back to the next line and keep going. So. I'm going to show you how you can get a radius and obviously it's the same aspect as if you want a two inch radius, three inch radius, you would do it over a three inch span and do less than eight or 10 degrees. So the more, the more increments you have, the less degree you might like on the first line, you might just bump it just to kind of just move the metal and then you just, and then just keep going. The cool thing about this little trick, once you do it, you could stop like halfway and say, oh, that's the radius I want. You don't have to go to the full three inch lines that you have drawn. So I'm gonna show, I'm gonna go over and bend it real quick and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it comes out to look like. All right guys, so I went over there and I bent it up. The smaller increments that you do, I was actually bumping it at 30. At 30 degrees, when my brake hits the 30 degree mark, that's as far as I was going to get this. Obviously I can keep going. I missed two lines out of the whole one inch that I did. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to guys show you, you do, if you do smaller increments, you won't get as many noticeable lines, but this is pretty smooth. I have a really dramatic line right there where I started. So I probably shouldn't have went to 30 to start, but those are just because of the teeth. But if you look at it, most people think you can't do that in a break. You can if you have the attachment that slips in that bends radiuses. This is with just as a normal break, a box break. So I just keep bumping it at multiple increments and you can get a nice bend like that. That's how I did. If you go back to one of my other videos when um, the bus monkey came into my shop and he showed you guys my dash, all those radius curves that you see around the gauge cluster and stuff like that, they were all done like this. So what I did, I started out with an inch and a half wide piece, and then I found my center, which would be three quarters of an inch, and then I went one inch spanned on each side of that, or like split that in the half, and then do one inch every eighth of an inch. So I got that. So I had a uniform piece. Once it shortened, like if this was an inch and a half piece, you could actually go over to your shrinker stretcher and shrink this and make a contour. So don't think that that brake is only made to bend a sharp 90, a 45, something like that. I mean, that could be a part of a dash, that could be an ashtray, I mean, it could be anything. So don't, don't minimize some of your tools. Some of your tools are capable of doing more things, you just gotta know how to use them. So I'm gonna show you what I used them on, and I'm gonna show you the brake. So your brake may not be as big, same principle. I don't have a special die to bend that on a radius. If I needed more roll, if I wanted this a perfect 90, I would keep, I would go off my last line with a tape measure and go every eighth of an inch and just keep going until I get a perfect 90. But as you can see, that's a nice radius smooth piece of material. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to grab the camera. I'm going to show you guys my break. So this is what I'm using. Just a box break. There's no attachment to it or nothing. But as you can see, it did not put a bunch of lines in there. Those lines that you're seeing are from the jaws being bit down because this piece is aluminum. This works in steel and everything. This is 60 thousandths thick. But as you can see, it's a nice clean radius. So don't think that that break's only made for bending 45s, 90s, and anything in between. This thing's made to bend, you can bend radiuses too. So hope this video goes this video helps you guys out. Um, you guys stay tuned. I'm going to be posting some more videos, but I just wanted to share that with you while I was doing some of this in the shop today on the new day of 2020. 
I figured I'd share this with you guys and maybe you guys can collaborate and do something else with making something like that. Not bad for just a normal brake. And I mean, if you don't have a sheet metal brake, you have just a brake, same principle. But just bump it and what I do is every eighth of an inch, you can see my marks. And I just put it on the line and keep bending. So you guys stay tuned and if you guys have any comments about that, go ahead and go over there and shoot me a comment and uh, I will definitely reply to you guys. If there's anything else that you guys wanna see, let me know. Uh, go over, if this is your first time on my channel, go over there and hit the subscribe button so you guys can see all the videos when I go to upload them so you don't have to chase them down. So stay tuned and I hope this guy, this, this little trick right here will help you guys out. Um, it's, it's a game changer when you could do stuff like this, trying to figure out, instead of trying to bend it around a piece of pipe or something. So stay tuned and I'll have some more videos coming your guys' way.